Okay, okay, okay. So the next question that we got here is, uh, if we have an air core solenoid with 68 turns, that is 8 centimeters long, and has a diameter of 100 or 1.2 centimeters, and when the solenoid carries a current of 770 milliamps, how many, how much energy is stored in its electric field? Okay, so there's a lot to unpack here. Um, first, let's talk about what it means by an air core solenoid. So a solenoid is kind of looks like a spring. It kind of looks like um, here I have a calendar, and you see like the binding of on this calendar. Um, it kind of looks like that, except it's like more in a loop. Um, I would say it's more similar looking to a spring. Um, do I have a spring? Yeah, I have something like this. So solenoids kind of look like this. They're like, this is just a spring um, on a grip trainer that I got. So a solenoid is going to look like this. Oops, let's uh, get the brush. Okay, this is what's a solenoid. Okay, and it says we have 68 turns. So 68 turns one turn would be like you know one of these loops um but we got 68 of them it's quite a few um it's eight centimeters long and has a diameter of 1.2 centimeters so its length like this is 8.00 centimeters which is also equal to um 0 0.0800 meters uh, just to keep it in like a base si and its diameter this way, uh, let's put that in a different color so it's not confusing. Um, in purple here, we have the diameter. The diameter is equal to 1.2 centimeters, 1.20 centimeters, which is equal to 0 0.0120 uh, meters. It's just nice to uh, do some conversions uh, pre uh, early so that you don't need to uh, worry about them later. Okay, and um, when the solenoid carries a current of 700 and, uh, or 7 point, 0 0.77 amps, when current, I equals 0 0.770 amps, um, find um, energy stored okay so one thing that I want to mention is that this solenoid solenoids are inductors inductors on your electric circuit diagrams look exactly like this like if you had an electric circuit like this um, you know, no one would doubt that this is a uh, an inductor, which which is represented with L. So the potential energy or the energy stored energy stored inside inductors is modeled with the following equation. We have a U. Um, U is typically used to represent potential energy. Um, a nice way is like, you know, potential, potential, P-U potential. Yeah, um, you know, it uh, got to do what you got to do to remember this stuff. It is one half inductance L um, multiplied by current squared. You see how it kind of has a similar structure to, um, or or the potential energy of an inductor looks similar to like one half mv squared kinetic energy also looks similar to um, spring potential energy it's very fascinating stuff um, that everything looks so similar but uh yeah so we have the i value here because the i is seven point or zero point seven seven zero amps but we need to find the l we need to find uh, need to find the inductance L okay and uh, we have the equation here uh, conveniently it's it's deeper in the solution so our 
um, the inductance of a solenoid. Solenoid inductance. L is equal to, um, let's just use uh, this equation because it, it would, um, uh, th this is just the stuff that we need. Um, because like the other question, well, it does involve like this other constant, but um, you know, it's uh, not necessarily something that we need to worry about for, for this. Um, yeah, so we have um, L is equal to mu naught which is a magnetic constant multiplied by the number of turns squared multiplied by um, the area of each turn of the solenoid multiple uh, all divided by the length of the solenoid okay now we pretty much know all of these except for a uh, so a is the area of solenoid turn okay but um, we don't know this directly but we do know that it is well they are circular because these turns are always circular and they're easier to manufacture when they're perfectly circular like they're not really gonna work out if they're squares or any other shape um, so the diameter is one is zero point um, zero one two oh meters and if we get the area area is equal to pi r squared and um, area is just going to be pi times 0 0.0120 meters over 2 squared and um, we can actually just sub that in and then we can solve for this uh, down here is the length Okay, so here uh, let's let's sub in our value. So L, we have mu naught. That's just a constant, and this constant is the permeability, not the same as permittivity, permeability of free space. So that is four pi times ten to the negative seven uh, tesla meters per amp. Now we don't really need to worry that much about the units because we know that our inductance value at the end, the unit of that has to be Henry, uh, named after probably some guy named Henry probably a smart guy yeah so our first one our mu is going to be here it's going to be 4 pi multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 7 okay and I'll, I'll just write mu above this so we know where all of these are coming from now for n how many turns did we have uh, the question said that we had 68 turns so we got 68 um, squared and this is number of turns and then we multiply it by a which is just pi times um, 0 0.012 over 2 squared so this would be a and that whole thing divided by the length of it which is 8 centimeters so this is 0 0.08 uh, meters length. Okay, let's uh, send this to the calculator and figure out what this is. Cool. So we got 4 times pi times 10 to the power of negative 7 times 68 squared times pi times uh, 0.006 squared that whole thing divided by 0 0.08 meters And my value for Henry's was um, was quite small. Yeah, so L for me was equal to 8.215 uh, times 10 to the negative 6 Henry. 
Okay, so this is the inductance of a solenoid. Okay, that's awesome. So now that we have the inductance of the solenoid, we can now uh, go back to our original equation. I'll rewrite it down here. U equals one half L I squared. And we can sub in our I and L values to find out the potential energy. So we, let's, let's do that. 8.215 times 10 to the negative 6 uh, multiplied by the current was 0 0.770 uh, squared. And uh, let's calculate it. So we take the inductance, multiply it by 0.77 squared, and multiply it by 0.5, which is the same as divided by 2. And the answer that I got was hopefully the same as the one they had here. Uh, yep. So U is equal to 2.435 times 10 to the power negative 6 joules because energy is measured in joules and we're using SI units for everything so um, we, we can be fairly confident that we're going to come come across joules and um, this would be the energy stored inside the um, in solenoid you could say inductor because it is this solenoid is an inductor in this case but um, I want to use the word solenoid because that's what was first mentioned in the question and um, yeah now what does it mean when a, a solenoid or an inductor is holding is storing energy inside what basically that means is like um, if you were to sudden if you had this in an electric cur uh, circuit and you were to suddenly like cut off the current and you just like d disconnect all your sources the inductor would act as a source for just a little bit all of its stored energy inside would kind of be acting like a new current source and it would act like that until of course it runs out of energy stored inside so that, that's kind of how inductors work they're useful in like ac circuits um yeah it's pretty cool stuff pretty cool stuff um, the above solution is good Lucian is good.